In this video, I wanna be real with you guys. I'm not always perfect. So I'm gonna tell you how I had a slip up and what I did to fix it. So I hope this video helps you to stay on track and do your best and feel your best. So today we're gonna to be talking about sugar cravings. Sugar cravings can be killer on the carnivore diet, especially at first. Uh, it's very important to take it seriously because what you really have to do on the carnivore diet is stuff yourself. You have to stuff yourself, especially at the beginning if you're gonna be successful. You have to eat, 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 eat. You have to take your salt. So make sure you have your salt at all times. You can just dump it in your hand, put some on your mouth. It's really not that bad, <laughs> I promise. I could not do it if I, this is the best tasting salt, I think for ingestion. Look, I don't even have any water and I'm not throwing up. So there you go. You can get this down in the description from my Amazon shop. All right, so beyond that, so you have to stuff yourself, you have to eat salt constantly. Um, you have to eat tons of fatty meat. Uh, if you don't do that, if you restrict, you will not make it, you will eat sugar. So I wanna tell you a little bit about some sugar cravings techniques that I've been doing. I've been on a vacation for a little while. I've been in Florida for the past three weeks and for the first uh, week or two, I was kind of letting myself get a little out of control. I was eating keto treats. I was eating some berries. I was like, I'm on vacation. It's okay. I deserve it. Uh, it's warm, you know, whatever I could think of. I was rationalizing. Um, it was just a mess. So I thought I could handle a little bit. Uh, there's some things I like, like the um, So Delicious ice cream. It's dairy free. And coconut is one of those ice creams that is a little less. Dairy for me is very bloating. I get very bloated when I eat dairy. It makes me feel very miserable. So my idea was let's just eat some coconut ice cream and it won't be as bad. And it was sugar free. So I was like, it's okay. So I thought I could eat that every once in a while. Well, it turned into like three times a day. So it was really going off the deep end. And um, then we went out somewhere and I had some bites of cheesecake. I didn't, I am gluten-free all the time. So I didn't eat the crust or anything, but um, it just went on and on. And I thought, oh, I can have some keto treats. So I maybe uh, another place that had some sugar-free ice cream. Uh, and it was just getting out of got out of hand. And I, you know, it's like when you have sugar tendencies and when you have addiction tendencies, um, I've been a sugar addict my whole life. I always think that I can have a little bit of this or that, but it really doesn't work for me um, because I end up eating the thing three times a day instead of eating it uh, like a normal person would once uh, or something like that. So I came up with a little plan to detox myself from the sugar and to get real because I started feeling worse and worse, especially with dairy. I get, I start feeling like I'm getting a sore throat. I start feeling like an earache. Um, so I had to do something really fast. And so I kind of came up with a three phase approach. Uh, so the first day, let's just say, let's call that day zero. So you're eating, uh, so this is three days. So you're eating sugar, real sugar. Uh, so you're completely off the rails on day one. Okay. Then day two, um, you can switch to some keto treats. So that would be uh, keto ice creams, keto, whatever, fat bombs, and whatever you think is a keto treat. But so it has to be sugar-free. So that's day two. And so you're slowly coming down. <laughs> and then day three, uh, you switch to some blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, something like that. And no quantities here, just this is what I've come up with. So day one, you're eating the sugar. Day two, you're eating the keto treat. Day three, you're eating berries. Okay, so then day four, you have come off of it. Then you have to ramp up your salt because you are going to become, you are gonna be messed up. <laughs> so you have to ramp up your salt, uh, preferably the whole time, but you're gonna really need it on day four. So 
I'm assuming, this is all assuming that you're still doing a carnivore diet for your meals. So you're still carnivore, but you're just having keto treats and cheats and things like that. Okay, so all your meals have been carnivore this whole time. And uh, so you do that. So by day four, you should be fine. You should be uh, ramping up that salt and you should be getting over it. So that is a little plan I've come up with. I just went through it myself and it has worked. I am doing so much better. Uh, yes, the last two days I ate 100% carnivore. I was just really happy with myself. I didn't have any sugar. It was amazing. I ate, um, and also on day four, you might wanna have some more like processed meat, something like that, a little more treatsy type bacon, sausages, things like that, because it is gonna be hard to just want to have some old boring, uh, ground beef after you've had all that excitement in your food. So um, yesterday I had some beef sausages in the morning and I had some eggs and goat cheese. And then uh, for dinner we had stone crab. And then, uh, so that was in stone crab and butter. So 100% carnivore day, uh, that was actually the day before. And then yesterday, same thing, it was so much easier. I did have to ramp up my salt. I was kind of having headaches yesterday. And then um, yesterday I had some, um, I'd had some eggs and some fish and you know, same kinds of things. Also, I had some ground beef and you know, it was getting easier and easier and I just was feeling so much better. So that's my little three phase, uh, three day plan to come off of sugar cravings. It is really easy now, I'm on day five and actually this would be day six. Um, so I had two days with absolutely no, two days with absolutely no sugar. So it's gone really well. And I'm not thinking about it. I feel so much better. Um, I'm still, I still let myself have a little bit of goat cheese. I'm doing better with that. I'm not, not doing real dairy uh, right now because it just makes me feel so bad. Um, so uh, that's my little three phase plan. So the first day, you're eating the real sugar. <laughs> the second day you're eating the keto treats. The third day you're eating berries, fruit, and then the fourth day you're ramping up your salt and you're back to 100% carnivore. And then the next day is easy peasy. Um, and now I'm on day six. So I still have about nine or 10 days of my vacation, but I'm completely over all the treats and the sweets and I'm just gonna do 100% carnivore from here on out. I don't, I'm not gonna fall into that trap of, okay, you're on vacation, you deserve it, blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't regret what I did. I, I'm not about the guilt and shame. I'm, I'm too old for that, I don't care anymore. Um, but I just wanna feel my best and carnivore makes me feel my best. So I just always wanna go back to that. That is my ground zero, that is where I, operate the best and um, I don't get bloated, I don't feel yucky, I don't feel tired. Uh, so it, that is where I will be returning to every time I wanna feel my best. And you know, I'm not gonna feel guilty about what I ate. And you know, this is life, it's a lifestyle. I don't want to continue on with what I was doing, but I'm not gonna feel bad about it. I'm just gonna write the ship turn it around and go back to what makes me feel my best, which is 100% carnivore with plenty of salt. I got my sparkling water and I'm good to go. So I'm back on the beef, back on the eggs, just eating all the things that I love that make me feel the best. So I hope this has been so, so helpful. My three phase plan for getting off of sugar. Um, and if you have any comments, just leave them below what you think, what you, if you, this would work for you or what you think about it. Okay guys, if my approach resonates with you, make sure you get my carnivore ebook. It is a 30 day carnivore diet challenge. It is amazing. It changed my life. Uh, it wrote, I wrote everything I learned in the first uh, 16 months of doing carnivore in this book. And I want you to not make the same mistakes so this is my uh, magnum opus to carnivore and it has 34 FAQs, it has meal plans, shopping lists, so many things that will help you not make the same mistakes as a lot of people make when they first start out 
If you like my approach, you will love my carnivore ebook. So please get it. It's at carnivore30.info. And I really appreciate you watching. You can also find it in the description box below. Please like this video, share, and leave a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.